Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program or help a loved one or friend or family member or workmate get off their meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about skin care or ingredients or formulations, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products that you heard about on the program or you heard advertised on the program or recommended, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or you can head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and you can sign up. You can uh, purchase products right off the website or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website or by calling the phone team at 866-735-2470. If you're interested in purchasing any of our enzyme products or the Bergamax capsules, Bergamax capsules or our Evolve weight loss products, you can go to brightsidehealthproducts.com. We talked to Victoris Kovinskis yesterday about enzymes and enzyme deficiency. And as I've been saying now for at least a couple of months, enzyme deficiency may be one of the hidden causes of our disease-ridden culture. Most of us are subsisting on enzymeless food, i.e. dead food. Enzymes equal life. That's basically it, folks. Enzymes equal life. And because health is related to the life force, enzymes and health go hand in hand. By eating processed foods, cooked foods, basically we're killing ourselves by eating enzymeless food. So enzyme supplementation can be a powerful nutritional strategy. They're not the mighty 90 essential nutrients, of course, but they're still important. And you can find out all about the enzyme products and purchase any of the enzyme products that we heard about yesterday at brightsidehealthproducts.com, brightsidehealthproducts.com. Okay, we are talking hyperpigmentation and the stress response. Stress response obviously is very important, but long-term chronic stress, long-term chronic stress response, that's the leading cause of health misery. And in the case of the, in the, case of the skin, it's a leading cause of skin problems from everything from rosacea to acne to eczema to psoriasis and to hyperpigmentation. The stress response is controlled by hormones. And we're gonna talk about hormones here uh, probably in the next couple days, we'll get to talking about hormones because they are absolutely stunningly important, along with enzymes, probably the most important molecules in the body. The hormones and enzymes are the two most important chemicals in the body, along with perhaps micronutrients, but as far as things that the body makes, it's the hormones and the enzymes. Those are the two most important chemicals that the body makes. So we'll talk about hormones here in a little bit, but for now understand that the stress response is controlled by, it's turned on and off by hormones, which basically act like a switch 
that initiates activity in the cells of the adrenal glands. When we talk about the adrenal gland, we're talking about the cells of the adrenal gland. These cells respond to hormones, and the stress response goes, uh, turns on. Stress response includes shutting down our defense system. Immune suppression is part of the stress response. This is why the boneheaded medical model will actually give you stress chemicals to shut down your immune system. Now, who out there thinks that's an intelligent idea, to give you stress chemicals, as if we don't have enough stress chemicals? They'll actually give you drugs that initiate a stress response to quiet down your immune system. Can anybody say stupidity? That's what that is, stupidity. Cora, prednisone is your classic example. Do you need prednisone or suppression of the immune system occasionally? Perhaps, but certainly not for long term. And an intelligent medical professional, if they're out there, will actually try to figure out what's causing the stress response rather than initiating it pharmacologically. So anyway, prednisone, cortisol, stress, uh, horm stress chemicals, stress hormones will shut down your immune system. They'll suppress your digestive system. They'll redirect blood flow from the extremities to the core of the body. That causes high blood pressure. Stress chemicals will also redirect blood flow from the intelligent part of your brain, the intellectual part of your brain, the human part of your brain, to the reptilian brain, the Donald Trump brain, the part of the brain that's in fear, the part of the brain that doesn't think creatively but thinks fearfully. Excuse me to Donald Trump. I apologize. Fear is about the stress response. Anger is about the stress response. Anxiety is about the stress response. Insomnia is about the stress response. All mental health problems, or most anyway, including depression, is about the stress response, which is regulated by hormones in the adrenal gland. Major stress hormones are cortisol, adrenaline, estrogen, perhaps serotonin, even though that's more like an alertness or an awareness hormone, but stress will upregulate serotonin. And the most little known stress hormone, the one you never hear about unless you listen to the bright side, and that's aldosterone. Aldosterone equals stress, equals minerals. Aldosterone is a mineral and salt hormone. It causes the release of minerals from cells into the blood. Minerals drag along water, and as the minerals are released into the blood and the water is pulled along with it, the volume of the blood increases, and that causes the pressure to rise. Think of a garden hose. The more water that's in the garden hose, the more pressure is going to be against, uh, applied to the walls of the garden hose. That's high blood pressure. There's pressure that's applied to the walls of the vasculature, of the, of the circulatory system, of the blood vessels, as minerals go into the blood and water gets pulled along with it. This is how the body raises pressure. It is super cool. It's an amazing system when you think about it. Und we're under stress. Aldosterone levels go up. Aldosterone causes minerals to leak out of cells and go into the blood. The water gets pulled along with it and the pressure increases. Aldosterone is ridiculously powerful stuff. And it just, just takes a little tiny bit to raise your blood pressure significantly. You're never going to see aldosterone used as a drug. You'll see, you'll see uh, cortisol used as a drug. You'll see adrenaline, or mimics anyway, imitators, agonists they call them. You'll see cortisol agonists, cortisol imitators used as drugs, prednisone classic example. You'll see estrogen imitators used as drugs. You'll see adrenaline imitators used as drugs, but you'll never see aldosterone used as a drug because it's so darn powerful. Blocking the effects, on the other hand, blocking aldosterone, that's a common drug strategy, and that's what so-called ACE inhibitor drugs are. If you ever heard of Zestril and Prinavil and Cozar and Losartan, these are ACE inhibitor drugs that work by suppressing aldosterone, shutting down the stress response. Oh, why is it that shutting down the stress response is the major medical pharmacological strategy for lowering hypertension? Hmm, let me think about that. Because stress equals hypertension. Hypertension equals stress. Again, the primacy of the stress response when it comes to degenerative disease. Why is this important? Because who controls our stress response? For the most part, anyway, we do through food, through sugar, through breathing, or lack thereof, through emotional, psychological, mental stresses. These are all ways we control the stress response. Hypertension affects 80 million people, and doctors call it idiopathic or essential for the most part, meaning they have no idea what causes it. They're mystified. The medical model has no idea what causes hypertension. Send your hypertension doctor, whoever's treating you, to the bright side, to uh, brightsideben.com. Have him listen to this archive. Maybe he'll understand the body a little bit better. Maybe he'll understand hypertension a little bit better. And he'll tell you to breathe 
and stay away from sugar and relax your body instead of giving you a poison, deadly antihypertensive medication. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. If you're interested in purchasing purchasing any of our enzyme products, go to brightsidehealthproducts.com, brightsidehealthproducts.com. Also have an interesting weight loss product up there that I haven't talked about called Evolve. It's not only a weight loss product, it's an energy product. I've been using it now for almost a year. And I'll tell you what, if I put something on Brightside Health Products, you can bet your bottom dollar it's something I stand behind. And it's something that you can use and something that you need. Digestive enzymes, systemic enzymes, energy from the Evolve products, as well as the Bergamax capsules made from Bergamat, ex- Bergamat extract. And you can Google Bergamot extract or Bergamax and get some great information for high blood pressure, for sun protection, for erectile dysfunction, for metabolic syndrome. When I first read about the, the, uh, all the benefits and all the research behind Bergamot, I was like, I got to put that stuff on the website. As you know, if you've listened to this program, we've talked to Dr. James Ehrlich multiple times. BrightsideHealthProducts.com. BrightsideHealthProducts.com. Okay. We're talking aldosterone, minerals. Aldosterone is actually called a mineral corticoid. That's the official name of it. Mineral corticoid. Why? Because it's made in the part of the adrenal glands called the cortex, corticoid, cortisol is as well. And it's a mineral substance. It moves minerals around, specifically into the blood. This is where high blood pressure comes from, and this is where mineral deficiencies come from, or at least partially where mineral deficiencies come from. Aldosterone is released in response to stress. Electrolytes, potassium and sodium and calcium and magnesium and chloride, are then shunted into the blood. Blood pressure goes up. Remember, minerals and electrolytes pull water with them. The pressure goes up. Then the electrolytes are excreted through the kidneys, and guess what? Then we become electrolyte deficient, and in this way, High blood pressure, stress leads to high blood pressure, which leads to mineral deficiencies, salt loss. And this, by the way, is the cause of salt cravings. Why do you think it is we crave salt so much? We're deficient, mostly because we're under so much stress. And this is also why if you have hypertension, if you have manifestation, uh, manifestations of the stress response, including hypertension, it's important to make sure you're getting enough salt, getting enough minerals, as opposed to what you hear from your, your, the doctor nonsense dogma about a low salt diet. You can't go low salt because it's a fundamental need and you're going to find salt anyway. How do you know you need salt? Because you're craving it. Put some Celtic sea salt in water. Drink a couple of sips. If it tastes delicious, you needed it. After a couple more sips, it's going to taste less delicious. And guess what? You'll need it less. You're needing it less. That's called being your own doctor. That's called firing your MD, or at least it allows you to fire your MD. When we understand all of this, I will be irrelevant. Pharmacist Ben will be irrelevant. The bright side will be irrelevant. Once we get the simplicity of how easy it is to be healthy, Not because we're smart, but because the body's meant to be healthy. Proof of it is that we're here. We wouldn't have survived two million years. We would have have been different. We would have evolved differently. We're here. The fact that we're here is testimony to the fact that the body heals itself. It repairs itself. It knows how to doctor itself. When we finally understand this, the simplicity of getting healthy and staying healthy You're not going to need a pharmacist. You're not going to need pharmacist, Ben. You're not going to need the bright side. You're not going to need your doctor. There's going to be a lot of unemployed specialists out there, a lot of unemployed doctors. They'll have to drive taxis and do something for real, really produce in our culture. And I'm saying me too. I'll be irrelevant also. The job of a good health professional, in my opinion, is to make himself irrelevant. As far as the skin goes, if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation or hypertension, or any other manifestation of the stress response, which is to say all chronic degenerative disease, which is to say 80% of our health miseries, if you're dealing with any of it, you're going to benefit from electrolyte drinks. You're going to benefit from salt water. You're going to benefit from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. In fact, this is where the Beyond Tangy Tangerine really shines. This is where Beyond Tangy Tangerine is such an amazing, amazing health product. It's an electrolyte drink, and it's packed with electrolytes. This was Dr. Wallach's really brilliant insight, is that electrolytes in water 
can address almost every, help address anyway, almost every single health challenge you're dealing with. Electrolytes are basically salts, and replacing these things is amazingly important, especially if you're under chronic long-term stress, if you're craving salt, if you're adrenally fatigued, if you're just burnt out. Celtic C4 